Okay, so what the hell is this thing, guys? I still don't know what. I can't really see my mirrors. It's so dark. My monitor is on already at 100% brightness. There's still two. I'm doing some pretty good turns lately, you know. I'm getting good with this side of the roads, but I don't know, it's still pretty dark, guys. And we have to be careful on this. Why do I feel like someone's gonna hit me? It's a good thing that no It's actually kind of weird. What is even the time right now? 2.42 a.m. Okay, that makes sense. But I guess uh, there still should be some cars or trucks just wandering around, right? There should be another trucker just delivering something at this time. hello guys welcome back so in this video we are going to deliver a transformer pk 900 uh, it's gonna be a, a fairly short trip only 196 kilometer it's estimated to be three hours in this game time that means it's about maybe 15 minutes in real life now to be honest i don't uh, i'm not exactly sure what is this thing it looks square like that and it's pretty heavy as well 47 tons so uh what is this thing it's square it's heavy and i've searched on google on what is actually this thing but there seems no actual answer to answer my question on that so we're just gonna begin the delivery and we're gonna find out by ourselves at the trailer place okay so um my truck is a little bit damaged actually only six percent so no problem uh, we're gonna go to the trailer place right now. Turn on my lights first. Turn right. Okay, we have arrived at the trailer cargo place. Let's see what this thing actually is. Okay, so what the hell is this thing, guys? I still don't know what is this. It doesn't look very heavy from this, but it seems it is actually very heavy. Okay, so we're just gonna pick this up, guys. Can't really see my mirrors. It's so dark. My monitor is on already at 100% brightness. But it's still too dark. Let's see it once again. Okay, it says PK900. Uh, there's really no more information about it unless those tubes on the top. And I think it has something to do with electricity. Maybe some kind of generator, probably. Eh, I don't know, guys. Maybe if you know what PK900 is, you can leave it on the comments down below. Because I'm actually curious, like, where is this freaking thing? doing some pretty good turns lately you know i'm getting good with this yeah i still don't know what this thing is guys but i'm pretty sure like maybe about 85 percent sure that this thing actually have something to do with electricity i mean what else could it be right a freaking cooking machine no dishwasher no making sure if my brightness is max and yes it is max and it's still so dark right now guys i literally almost can't see anything even though there are uh, light poles on the side of the roads but i don't know it's still pretty dark guys and we have to be careful on this why do i feel like someone's gonna hit me it's a good thing that no one hit me nice And by the way guys, if you're wondering, I've actually already said this on my previous videos. But if you're wondering like, when should I turn on the beacon on this game? Or maybe in real life, I'm not very sure in real life, but on this game. 
if you have a trailer that has a beacon like this you should turn it on like all the time doesn't matter if it's nighttime or daytime just turn it on when you're delivering this uh, trailer that's when you know when uh, you're supposed to turn on the beacon or not if the trailer doesn't have any beacon but your truck does have a beacon like me um, I don't know actually I don't know if you should turn it on all the time or not I guess no though if you're just delivering a normal trailer or cargo some you know uh, some light stuff I guess you don't have to turn it on beacon is pretty much used uh, to inform the people or the cars the trucks around us that we are delivering a uh, heavy stuff and it's dangerous to go near us probably like that I'm sorry if I'm wrong though but I think I'm pretty right actually I'm pretty sure now this place doesn't have any light poles so if I turn it off like this it's freaking pitch black it's actually dangerous you should uh, put some light poles on here guys you can actually get robbed on here at night and no one would know that's how dangerous it is and it's actually kind of scary too to just be alone on this road guys there's no one around me I would actually get terrified if I'm making this video at night good thing it's actually in uh, the afternoon so like 2 p.m. right now if it's night especially midnight I'm actually gonna freak out just making this video guys like I'm being serious right now I'm that scared of a cat turning right there's still no one so I guess I don't have to look left and right yep there's no one it's actually kind of weird what is even the time right now 2 42 a.m. okay that makes sense but I guess uh, there still should be some cars or trucks just wandering around right there should be another trucker just delivering something at this time oh we are getting slower guys uh, the speed is decreasing because it's going uphill my truck always has this problem oh finally there's another truck on there nice good thing to know that we are not alone um, anyways yeah when when we're going uphill with this truck carrying a ton of weight like this uh, my truck is actually having a pretty hard time with that they can still go but yeah it's kind of difficult to do it imagine if I'm doing this with a 4x2 truck a 300 horsepower truck that would be a fail guys it wouldn't actually be able to do this and by the way if you don't know this truck has 600 horsepower that I'm using right now and I guess 2800 of Newton meters yeah we're actually pretty close only 75 kilometers left and we're pretty much only going on these mountain hills going up and down uh, we don't really get out of the road that much guys Usually when we're delivering we are uh, spending uh, most of our time on the highway, right? But right now we are spending most of our time on the mountains Red light violation is there a red light on here? Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of that. Okay, then I guess because of that roadblock we should wait like the other people to go for us but there's really no people from the opposite side of the road so opposite direction I mean sorry so I guess it's okay go slow on here still remembering my bad experience with turning like that you might notice that on YouTube uh, maybe you watched it a few times as well uh, there are some youtubers that making uh, that's making ETS2 videos about mega transports they are delivering I don't know what that is exactly but I remember that uh, the weight is 260 tons like it's very very heavy it's very huge and I don't know if that's a mod or a DLC because if that's a DLC I'm supposed to already saw that right because I bought all the three cargo DLCs but I haven't seen it yet and yeah so I don't know if it's a mod or not like if I have the chance to do that delivery I would do it it's gonna be pretty interesting I feel but unfortunately I haven't found it yet and I'm not even sure if it actually exists on the DLCs or not and yeah like I said uh, 
I'm still not very sure if it's a DLC or a mod. Hopefully it's a DLC though, because I'm I, I'm actually interested to do it. I think I've set the brakes too sensitive, guys. And why is this car just... What the fuck is this car doing? <laughs> what? Okay, it's going again. Anyways, I think I've set this uh, brakes for this truck. Like, too sensitive, guys. I mean, it's good when I'm uh, on a high speed and I just wanted to reduce my speed instantly. It's very, very good. It feels very nice. Uh, red light violation, no problem. And anyways, uh, but on the... Shit, I've gone in the wrong way, so I need to go front. Fucking hell. I'm talking too much. Okay, then. Anyways, guys, um, as I was saying, I think the brake feels good, but on a traffic light, when I just wanted to slow down, slow down, I mean, but not uh, fully just stop, I feel like it's kind of too much, you know. Because a lot of times, uh, when I just wanted to reduce my speed, uh, to like what it, what do you call it like just equalize my speed with the car in front of me so i don't have to stop but i can just go you know when the light is kind of yeah uh on the yellow but it's about to turn green on that position i always stop when my objective is actually just go slowing down you know sorry for my sentence by the way so yeah the brakes actually feels good on high speed but on low speed it actually feels kind of too sensitive Okay, so this is the rival place guys we have arrived at the destination and i haven't took any thumbnail as well still pretty dark too okay uh, of course park this by myself always i barely like just choose to just automatic parking almost never done that guys maybe i've only done twice in my life the other hundreds i've just done it manually Okay, let's see um okay the position is like that it's not straight enough guys so i need to go like a little bit more to the right um that's a pretty good position i guess i can do it i guess i can pull this off I can't really see anything. I need to turn on the mirror like that. Yes. It's really almost impossible. Yes. And I need to go a little bit to the front again, I guess. This is the technique, guys. When you're on a like, very steep corner like that, just go very slow and just turn your wheels as much as you can. And I think I need to go a little bit to the left, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm turning too much to the right. I'm gonna just go. Let me just go here. We're getting out on the road again. Fuck. Oh, that's good. That is good, guys. That's actually pretty good. I can't really see anything on the left mirror. It's so dark on there. I can only see from the right mirror. Oh, it's actually already green. Okay, but it is very, very not straight, actually, guys. Yeah, and I don't think I can get a thumbnail from this. So, yeah, I'm just going to use something else for the thumbnail. Anyways, press T and we are done. I got some more achievements. Okay, so I think I've done 130 manual parkings and only about two or maybe three automatic parkings. Okay, so we got 276 XP and 5,000 euros. Excellent quality. Very nice. Okay, guys, I guess I'll end it here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.